Fox Lodge in Oxnard with Julia, Com Julia Campos and Natalie Rose, and you're with the uh, Parents of Murdered Children. That's correct. And the Elks, I understand, next month is going to do an event for you here at the, at the Lodge as part of their holiday activity. So would you ladies like to tell us a little bit about what, the, what your program is and the event that's going to be here next month at the Elks Lodge? It is a holiday dinner that we host um, every year for parents of murdered children, but it's also open to anyone who's lost a, a loved one, a friend, uh, to violence, and, and it doesn't particularly um, belong just to murder. It can also be domestic violence, it could be uh, war and drunk driving. So it's an event that's open to anybody who has lost a loved one in, in those circumstances. So we hold the dinner. It'll be December the 6th uh, from 6 to 11. And like you said, it'll be here at the Elks Club. And we're hoping that we have a good turnout. It is a fundraiser for us as well. We count on events like these to be able to generate funds for our organization to continue to help and give back to the community. Wonderful. And you were also talking about some of the things that you do, your program does for outreach and support and so forth. You would like to tell Correct. us a little bit we, about that? We go out and we um, comfort the family when the murder happens and invite them to our support group meetings that we have once a month, sometimes twice. Um, this Christmas we're gathering together toys for the children to give them gifts at the dinner and make sure that it makes it a pleasant evening for them. The Elf Club is gracious enough, and we, we are so happy that they allowed us to have it here. Well, wonderful. And if somebody wants more information about your organization, how would they get in touch with you, a website, a phone number? Yes, we do have a website. They, they can log into uh, the Greater Ventura County uh, Parents of Murdered Children. Um, we also have a phone number. They could either reach Natalie or myself. Uh, my cell number is 302-7978. We are hoping that they can assist us with gift donations for our kids, especially for the older kids. We do have some older kids. We can always appease a child with a small gift. It's the older kids we're worried about. So gift cards or anything that they can uh, port to us would be greatly appreciated. Um, monetary donations are always gladly accepted, but not always um, a requirement. So any gifts can um, be generated and brought up to us if there's an organization or an employment that would be willing to um, collect toys for us um, before the 6th or even after the 6th because we will have another support meeting where we will be able to um, give these gifts to the children that weren't able to make it either to the dinner or for whatever reason can't come to our event. We'll make sure that they get a gift. Well, anything you want to give, last bit of information or a shout out for the holiday season? Well, if they need to get a hold of me, my number is 805 366 8916. All right, well, wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you for being Thank with you. us today and Thank here you. at the Elks Lodge in Oxnard, California. Well, Stella, here we are one more year to remember our loved ones. I know that it is a very difficult time for, for all of us, but we hope that bringing the group together will kind of give us something else to remember them by. Um, I'm sure that they would like for us to remember them with a little bit of happiness and a little bit of joy. Um, our kids will never be replaced. Here is the holiday season, and it's been, for me, it's coming up on, well, 10 years since my son's been gone. But unfortunately, it's more than just my son. It's my brothers and uh, other family members, um, total of six that were taken by violence. For, for me to be here, it's very important um, to remember them uh, in a different light. For me, <clears throat> this is the fourth year for me. Um, today I was having a very difficult time 
coming over. I didn't want to come. I, um, I wrote on my daughter's Facebook wall. I have a Facebook wall for her. And I wrote saying that I wasn't up to coming. And I needed a sign. I needed some strength for her to give me. And shortly after, it was amazing. Maybe three minutes after I finished writing that, a girlfriend of mine had gone to a service at Santa Clara. She had buried her father-in-law, and she posted a picture on my wall. It was my daughter's marker, and she told me she had stopped by, and she said she was beautiful and such an angel. That just changed my whole day around, and I thought, that's a sign. Call me crazy. Call me whatever you want. To me, that, that was a sign for my daughter, my daughter Melissa. Um, so that kind of picked up my spirits because I was feeling very down. You know, I try not to talk about it because I feel like nobody really understands other than other grieving moms. I, under, I feel that you guys know what we're going through. Other people might tell us that they can imagine what we're going through. And I think to myself, they say that because they have no idea what they're saying. And I forgive them because they don't understand but I know that there's no way they could possibly feel the way we feel. So it's very hard during the holidays. It's really, really hard. Um, she was, oh, she loved the holidays. She loved Christmas. She loved family time. She loved to see me happy. She loved for me to make a big deal about all holidays, especially Christmas. So for me, it's, it's, it's very difficult, but I know that she wants me to be happy. She wants me to continue her memory um, I know for me it's only been four years and but it doesn't matter how many years although for you it's been 10 years but I can believe that it doesn't seem like it's been that long I mean do you want to say anything else 10 years one year one month one day makes no difference the pain is the same the agony of not knowing why this happened to us, I think it's, it's a question that will always eat at us. As we see, if we have, we're blessed to have other children, as we see them grow, we can only imagine what could have been had our children not been taken from us. We can only hope that those who say that they can only imagine what we're going through will never have to know what it is that we're going through. That we make sure that they understand that if that were to happen, we are there for them. That we can offer them that solace that nobody else can understand because they haven't lived it. They don't understand it because they don't know what it is to lose a child. Yeah, or a loved one for that matter. It could be a brother, a sister, a mother, a father. It doesn't matter. The loss is still the same. It's an act of violence that has destroyed our, the sanctity of our family. So we hope that when we get together at our meetings at the library um, once a month, that people who don't know that we exist will hopefully find out that they have a place to go to, and they can find comfort in knowing that we will understand what they're going through because we, we have personally lived through that. One thing I know is um, when this first happened, um, parents of murdered children were a great support of me. I felt like nobody could understand what I was going through, and the fact that I found these ladies was a complete blessing to me. I... A lot of the times I try to stay away from friends. I don't talk about my daughter when I'm around my friends. Um, my social life is in two different parts, and I'm sure Julia can understand what I mean. There's people I talk about my daughter and um, what we're going through. Um, there's certain people that I talk about that, and these are my, my, my sisters in grief. My other friends, my other social friends, not that they don't want to hear it, although we might think that they don't. We just, I just don't, don't feel comfortable talking about that because I think they might not understand. So if you're feeling that way, I mean, I'm just letting you know 
us here at Parents of Murdered Children, we understand. And if you need someone to talk to, we are certainly here for you guys. And believe me, it makes a hell of a difference. Hi, I'm Hilda. What's your name? Just say your name. Her name's Ariel. My name is Haley. My name is Haven. And why are we here? For our cousin, Jesse. Jesse Cardenas, right? And who is Jesse? You know who he is. Matthew. Yeah, that's your mom's brother. And did you meet him before? No, but do you know how he looks? How about on pictures? And remember when you told me about your baby sister? What did they say about your baby sister? I do not know. <laughs> what did they say about about uh, baby Ava. Ava. She looks like Jesse. Like her uncle Jesse, huh? And and where are we at today? A Christmas dinner. For who? Idea Jesse. To remember all of the peoples uh, that are here. To remember who they've lost and to let them know we haven't forgotten them, right? Yep. But one day we'll all be together again, right? So does this make, make you happy or sad to be here? Happy, happy. Because, happy. because we're remembering somebody who, who, well, you guys didn't get to meet, but you will when we're all together again. Is there anything else you guys want to say? I want to say something. Okay. What do you want to say? I want to say that I, we're here for Uncle, for Dear Jesse, and we love him very much. And soon we'll, we'll, we'll go to heaven with him, and I love him very much. And he was the best. Thank you. And I miss him. Do you, does anybody else want to say anything? I never got to meet him before, but I want to meet him someday when I'm up there, and and I'll see him, and I'll I'll give him a hug and I'll meet him and get to know him better. Cause you always hear things about him, huh? We always remember him. We never forget him. Right? Yeah, I'm never going to forget him. And I want... really love him very much. And I want to meet him so bad. <laughs> Do you want to say anything? No? You're okay? Okay. So is that all you guys want to say? Yes. Okay. What do you say? Thank you, POMC. Thank you, POMC. Hello, my name is Alex Barrera, also known as DJ Alex B, and I was brought into this organization by a family friend of ours who has been coming here for a couple years, and well, he, he contacted me because they needed entertainment for their event, so I was brought on last year as a DJ. All my time is volunteered, I don't charge them anything, so... That's the least that I can do because of what their organization is about, helping families that have lost a child. So helping them cope with that, I think is very special to me. So I would like to help them in any way. So this is the way I think I can, by giving them music, which is a sign or a way for people to cope and get that happy emotion. That's why I started DJing and that's basically why I come and do this again. Yeah. So if you experience any type of tragedy and you've lost a loved one, a child, just feel free to contact this organization because they will help you. It's not, you're not the only one out there. There's people here that care and would like, love to help you no matter what.